Today, we're going to go ahead and learn how to convert your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge into a Galaxy S7 or Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go do this, baby. All right, so let me go ahead and show you my Galaxy S6 here. Uh, this is actually running Noble ROM, which is a ROM based off the Galaxy S7 Edge. And you'll see that I have model number of SMG935F and also my device name changed to Galaxy S7 Edge. But this is a Galaxy S6 as noticed by the hump. Let me go ahead and show you side by side with my real Galaxy S7 I've got here, this is the international model. Uh, basically, because this is a ported ROM, you'll get pretty much all of the features uh, of Galaxy S7. You can see it's nearly identical for the launcher. Uh, apps, you'll get all of the apps with the Galaxy S7. And you will even get root out of the box, which comes with the ROM, which is really cool if you need root. And let's go ahead and take a look at the settings menu. You can see it's identical. Um, obviously because this is off a S7 and you'll see I actually have edge screen features also which I'll go into a little bit um, this is actually based off a Galaxy S7 Edge so not only do you get S7 features you also get all the S7 Edge features right there on your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge that is awesome I mean software wise it means that it makes your Galaxy S6 even better than the Galaxy S7 since you get the S7 Edge features along with root and if you have a US model you can't even root and install ROMs like this which makes the Galaxy S6 an awesome device. Now I forgot to let you know which phones which models are supported uh, basically all the Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge models ending in model number F such as the SMG 930F or 935F uh, or ending in I 930i or 935i and all the Korean models SK and L uh, 930s, 930k, 930l, also 935k, 935l, 935s, and it should also support T-Mobile models, but right now there's no Marshmallow bootloader on the T-Mobile models, so you'll have to wait a little bit more, but once the bootloader is available, you'll be able to flash this ROM no problem. You, all right, you'll be able to get all the features of the Galaxy S7 software-wise, now, as far as the camera, um, the camera app is actually still off the S6, but not too much difference. So that's one thing you have to consider, but they are pretty much the same camera app, except for something like the hyperlapse. And also if you're into games, Game Launcher also works on this ROM, obviously. And let me go ahead and record a game really, ah, really quick for you guys. Galaxy S7 game feature, recording features right there. And even the front camera works. Hello, I am recording this with my Galaxy S6 using the S7 game launcher feature. All right, when that's done, let's go ahead and take a look at the gallery. Eh. And boom shakalaka, we got it working. All right, and 2-2 two -two scores are pretty good also. This is the last score I've got. It's not going to improve or be different from the regular S6 scores on Marshmallow. 63,759, pretty decent. Speed is really good. This ROM is actually really fast. Another thing I want to show you, um, you can also get uh, S7 Edge features. So let me go ahead and show you. Ah, you can get all the different uh, Edge features just like my S7 Edge I've got here which is pretty cool. I mean, this is the number one reason why you would want to root your device. So whenever a new phone comes out and your phone gets a year or two or over three years old, um, you can still get the new features, the exact features off Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, you can also go into the settings. Settings is identical. You get all of the features, all of the edge panels, just like a Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, you can go ahead and change the position to the left side, medium. I mean, even though this has no edge screens. So in that sense, my S6 right now I'm holding here is better than the Galaxy S7, the official one, since I have these extra edge screen features. 
pretty good deal. I pretty much everything works flawless on this ROM. Battery life is very good. Performance is excellent. Um, there's actually nothing I can bad say about it. I'm sure a lot of you ROM flashaholics are running this ROM already. Again, you can install this on the Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. They're in their national models right now, the Korean models. By the time you see this video, if there's a marshmallow bootloader, marshmallow update for the T-Mobile version, you'll be able to install this ROM also. Uh, installation is really easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through. First thing you'll need to do is obviously have a rooted Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. If you don't have those, go to my site, galaxyS6root.highonandroid.com. Root your device, all right? And also you'll need to have the latest Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow installed on your phone already, the official one. So go ahead and use Odin and Sockformer to update it. If you don't know how to do this, again, go to my site and there's instructions for unroot. And you'll just need to grab Marshmallow Stock Firmware, install it with Odin, root again, install Twerp Recovery, and then go ahead and follow this guide. If you don't know how to do any of this, um, just go to my site. I'll have all the step-by-step -step instructions. All right, once you have a rooted phone, once you have Twerp Recovery installed, once you have 6.0.1 bootloader installed, the bootloader installs when you install the Marshmallow stock firmware. Um, go ahead and power off your phone, download the Noble ROM, put it onto the internal storage before you do this, by the way. Um, you're gonna go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and power. Hold it for like until you see the logo. Let go of the power button, keep holding down volume up and center home. All right, and you will come to twerp recovery. Um, the process is pretty simple just do a wipe, do a factory reset. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now because I just installed this ROM. I'm um, go to install. Um, go ahead and find the ROM, which is the Noble S7 Edge Odex blah blah dot zip. This is the same file for all the S6 or S6 Edge models. Um, go ahead and swipe to flash. That's pretty much it. Um, go ahead and reboot. And you should have the new ROM installed, ready to go. Now you should be able to enjoy a Galaxy S6 on your Galaxy S7. Sorry, Galaxy S7 on your Galaxy S6 or a Galaxy S7 Edge on your Galaxy S6 Edge or S6. So if you absolutely don't need the new features of Galaxy S7, maybe the hardware features, you can go ahead and grab a S6 or S6 Edge for cheap, install this ROM, and you pretty much have a Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Anyway, have fun with this ROM. Don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM. I'll have the link to donate link to his donate link in the description below. Have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.